Hello, good morning. I hope that this video finds you all well, particularly at this very concerning time. The coronavirus, it's very scary. And I must admit, I was slightly apprehensive going over to the States for the market in case I got trapped and, you know, if borders had closed. But I have got home safely. I know that some of the Italian designers have not been so lucky. Um, now I'm home, I'm going to hunker down. I was due to fly back to the States to attend a workshop, but the store owner there made a very sensible decision a few weeks ago to cancel the workshop because of the virus, and I really admire her for putting her customers' health first. Um, we have to be particularly careful because my husband, his lungs are badly compromised and he is a very vulnerable person with anything that's respiratory. And I myself, although I'm a fit person and you associate me with uh, always being on the go, I have had a mild heart attack and I do have a leaking heart valve. So neither of us want to expose ourselves to the virus. Um, but hunkering down does hopefully mean extra time to um, work on reproductions and to do some stitching as well. Now, um, I know that um, I've had a lot of emails asking what did I get at market. Well, I do actually have very little time to get out of my room to visit other shops. Um, but there were some things that I really, really wanted to get. When I was at market last year, I fell in love with the Hug Me bags and I really wanted to get one this year and it was the priority on my shopping list. But when I was travelling over, um, a very exciting sampler came up for sale. So all my little pennies that I had saved up um, has gone towards uh, acquiring a new sampler um, next year. I'm going to get a hug me bag for myself. But I do have a hug me bag here to show you. It's one that um, a friend asked me to get for her at market. And it's this one. Most fabulous pattern. I love all the colors in this design. They're absolutely gorgeous. And um, I think my friend made a very good choice having a black background. Um, because there's nothing worse than a bag looking grubby through use. Um, these are so well made. I love that they have the little metal feet. Uh, uh, there's six of them, so that when you put your bag on the ground, it does protect it slightly. Um, the bag is an absolutely super size. It really is. Um, there's a zip here. And look at this, this is really lovely. I, everything for me is always in the detail. If you look at the pattern and the zip that goes through it, look how perfectly everything matches up. Very, very impressed with the finishing on the bag. Now, when you open this bag up, it has the most gorgeous lining. Look at that, hot pink. And this bag um, comes with various zipped um, pockets. Now that's a really nice big pocket there. And the zips are all nice and sturdy. Then the other side, you have um, sectioned, um, let's keep that safe, sectioned pockets. So you've got one there, one there, and then you have this one that opens down. So there is absolutely lots and lots of room in here and section space as well. Now my friend asked me to pick up the um, little oh well toolbox <laughs> gadget box to match and this is really really lovely as well. So it's a um, a firm fixed um, rectangular shape with the matching hot pink lining. Um, there's a little sort of like flap there so that you can tuck something under. And then on the lid, uh, there is a zip and you have 
three little section pockets. And in here is a matching scissor fob and the design is called Jungle Boogie. And um, this matches the, um, the design of the fabric and the colors of the fabric. I love things like that. I love to match. <laughs> so, um, I got to admit that if I was buying um, one of the bags on this visit, this is the one and the shape and the fabric that I would have chosen for myself. And um, just to recap, this is a hug me bag and the label says made in America. They're proud to be Americans. And um, this one is the Amy. So the design of the bag, or the shape of the bag, is the Amy, and this fabric is number 88, and the number for the key, the scissor fob is also 88. Um, what else does it say? There we are. Hug me bags. You have the website address and a telephone number there as well. It, these are just absolutely beautiful. And um, next year can't come soon enough for me to have one for myself. Mind you, another sampler could come up and um, that gets um, prioritised. <laughs> um, now, something I did get for myself were some new glasses. And um, I really, really like these glasses. Um, I love the fact that they're half glasses because when I stitch, I like to be able to look down at my stitching and these are quite strong because I'm working on high count fabrics. But when I look up to look at my chart or to look across the room to talk to my husband, I don't want the glasses there because I couldn't see at a distance through these glasses. So this design I really, really like and um, I like to coordinate so I've picked up some new colours. These are a really beautiful sort of almost like a lavender blue. They're very iridescent. I really like those. And then I bought a slightly different blue and this is more sort of blue blue. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure what colour to call those but you can see there is a difference. I know it's only slight but it, there is a difference so that justified having um, two pairs. I think really that this one's more iridescent than uh, this one and these are different strengths. Um, I like having different strengths like the higher strengths I keep for like 56 count fabric and the lower strengths maybe for um, 40 count. Then I had to get a new pair of red. A girl can never have enough red. So these are really nice. And I loved the shade of red on these. It's a very, very pretty red. Love that. This is the colour red of Dorothy's shoes in The Wizard of Oz, her ruby slippers. And talking of ruby slippers, I um, met a lady that was carrying this bag. And when I said, oh gosh, I love red shoes, she actually gave this one to me. It's all about the shoes, and I really do think that. I've actually got red shoes on today. My favourite colour in shoes. Um, okay, glasses. So I picked up another sort of iridescent pair of uh, sort of diamante glasses and these tend to pick up whatever the colour is um, surrounding it. Uh, they just change very, very slightly. I love these. And I also picked up another pair for a friend. And... Um, Oh yes, I love these. These are really, really nice. They're sort of like, um, hmm, a turquoise possibly. It's very sort of gluey green. I love those. They're really, really pretty. 
like a greeny blue, like sea. Um, yeah, definitely like the sea here on a nice sunny day. Now, the other thing I bought, and I have seen these at the attic and I fell in love with them. Um, these are really, really lovely. And I've ended up with six of them, but they're not all mine. Um, I bought some for a friend as well. And um, they are necklaces. And they're stitching related necklaces. Um, so, oh, actually, you know, I think I'm going to get up and do this. Let's get a bit closer to the screen. Okay, so this one has a beveled glass front and this gorgeous piece of embroidery. Really pretty. And it's got these little charms that hang from it. It's sort of like an embroider's version of Pandora. Um, it has a little heart and a pearl and it also has a little charm that says the word love. That's really pretty. That one's for me. And then this is a lovely one. Very pe pretty piece of lace in that. And the charms are very, very pretty. Very pretty. Um, that bead is gorgeous. Excuse the state of my hands. I have been washing and washing and washing my hands so much that they are really dry no matter how much um, moisturiser I put on them. There's the rest of them. This is um, a bee, and I just had to get the bee because the bee is the uh, company symbol for Hands Across the Sea Samplers. And of course, if you're a bee, you've got to be a queen bee, so you have a crown. And there's a little bee uh, charm, and then there's some extra beads as well, and a nice gingham background. That's really, really lovely. And I think I got one of those for my friend as well. And then there are more. <laughs> Let's get these out. Oh my gosh, it's just started to pour down with rain in case you can hear the noise. This is very pretty. Another beautiful piece of embroidery and lots of gorgeous charms on that. There's a big heart, um, a flower, all different types and a beautiful bead again. And you can wear these layering them up, so you don't just wear one, you could wear two or three. Um, oh, this is pretty. I really, really like this one. Um, it's nice to have different shapes, plus I really like that piece of um, needlework in that. And you've got a key, you've got a beautiful bead, and you've got a charm that has a... Oops, God, my fingers look awful. Um, a heart. That's very, very pretty. Really, really nice. And these are made by, or this is where you can get them from, Two Charming Chicks. So that says Diane Fate Mert Parkville. And there's the telephone number. So if I just hold that still, you can freeze the screen and make a note of it. Now I have seen these for sale at the Attic Needleworks but I'm sure there are other stores that stock these as well but, but I just don't know about them. But any store owners, if you stock the products that I'm featuring in this video, please put it in the comments that you've got this so that um, you know uh, customers can contact you. Oh the other thing is on the back of this business card it does give the email address um, and the Instagram and the Facebook page. So I'll hold that so you can freeze the screen and make a note of it. They are adorable, they really, really are. There is another one somewhere and I'm not sure where it's gone. I have to find it. I haven't really properly unpacked yet. This is very cute. Um, it's a needle minder that says, 
let your mind let me mind your needle that's very very sweet okay what other little bits and bobs have I got um, oh just before Nashville I posted about a needle hopper and I've never seen a needle hopper before um, but I now have one and this is a special limited edition needle hopper uh, from traditional stitches and it's um, I think it's uh, my big toe designs and I love my big toe I've bought lots and lots of their um, counting pins their key fobs um, not key fobs scissor fobs um, all sorts of things and they're lovely and I've bought lots to give as gifts to friends so with this um, you put one pin in place and then you count across with the other pin and you don't lose your starting place which I think is a great idea so that is a limited edition one for traditional stitches um, oh, these are some silks that I brought back with me Overa Soir, uh, Soir 103 and these are for a new model that's going into production next week and um, this sampler is a Norfolk sampler and the colours are just so beautiful, really really gorgeous so uh, you'll be seeing some sneak peeks of that in the next few months. Um, I also brought back another bag of um, threads and do you know what I can't remember what these are for and I'm not sure whether these are new colours coming out in the States for the 103 range or whether this is for a project I've got to stop and think and gather my thoughts but the colours are scrumptious absolutely scrumptious um, oh and Talking of colours, I bought this back for a friend who is about to start um, Jane Marshall, which was the fundraiser for the uh, Australian uh, firefighters. This, I think the fundraiser has about one more month to run and I must do an update on the totals. I know that we've probably sold probably about 3,080 um, copies of the download now and Jane is only a small sampler so she really is ideal for anybody who would like to try working on a higher count piece of linen or trying silks because she's so small it's not a huge investment. Um, my friend um, in the US I think that the highest that she has stitched on so far is 40 count but she is going to try 46 count uh, for Jane and she's going to try the 103 threads for the first time um, and this is Weeks Zweigart Parchment beautiful colour so um, that's for Jane and I've got to send that to my friend now um, I want to be careful not to get these mixed up uh, talking of linen I was very fortunate to acquire a uh, swatch of colours for weeks and my gosh don't they do some beautiful colours for linens I thought these were gorgeous um, I particularly loved um, Aspen I thought this was a really really lovely colour for reproduction samplers and um, this one is Tin Roof I thought that was beautiful as well and what's the next one Mm, that's a bit greeny for, for reproduction samplers, but this is a lovely colour, putty. I thought that was super. In fact, I'm working on reproducing a little sampler at the moment that this would be absolutely um, perfect. Anyway, um, it's really nice to have a swatch showing all the colours. I'm just going to put this in the bag because we get... Um, little bits of linen flaking off and I don't really want to have to hoover this room until next week. Right, let's pop that away. Um, 
Oh, something I absolutely fell in love with was um, this little um, Boston Terrier dog called Scarlet, inspired by Tanya's uh, Boston Terriers and produced by Stacey Nash. This is just absolutely fabulous. I love it so much. And for me, I could easily change that into a boxer dog. <laughs> anyway, so that was one of the charts. Um, oh, I've got more linen as well. This is a new colour from Legacy Linen, which is called Piccadilly White. Um, I'm not sure what count that is, but it doesn't say. Um, probably quite a fine count. I'll come back to you in the next video and confirm what count that is. And um, this is a new colour for Legacy Linen and it's called Wayfarer's Cloak. And this is um, 38 count. That's a fabulous colour. Really, really beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to using this on one of the hats samplers. Really, really lovely like it, colour. Um, Linens. Oh gosh. What have I got? Um, I've got here a beautiful piece of um, straw in 56 count, which is going straight into production. We've been waiting on this to start a model. I love straw. And this is a particularly beautiful beautiful dye lot of it. Although the dye lots now seem to be very stable for the straw. And this is some more um, parchment. This is in 40 count and that's we've been waiting on that to go uh, into production on a model. Uh, I think that's all the new. So let's have a little look at some of the bits and bobs that I came home with. Um, I had to pick up some uh, Stitches Tea from Needlework Press. The designs they've got to go with these teas are adorable. So have a look at Needlework Press's uh, social media posts about um, the series that go with tea. Um, I did post a photograph of this at uh, Nashville. This says, Queen of Everything. Who could resist that? And in this beautiful orange. So these are the needlework books that are being made by um, Kathy Ray at Needle in a Haystack. And they are really fabulous. And I love the quirkiness of the um, little sayings and the fact that you can order these and personalise them. So uh, you can choose your colour, you can choose your saying. Um, so, you know, you can have some fun with those. Then I also had from Kathy uh, Boss of the Floss horn books, which are great. You can never have enough of these when you've got lots of projects on the go. Like I tend to only stitch one or two projects at a time, but I have lots of samplers in production, so I can put um, samples of the threads I'm using while I'm reproducing, and these that's how I use them for me. And these also have uh, little holes so that you can work your starting point out. They can act as corner gauges, which is fabulous as well. And go on to Kathy's website, Needle in the Haystack, to find out about you know the range. There's some really, really beautiful ones there. This is a little gift that was sent to me at Nashville from a friend. Very handy having pouches. Um, so this isn't for sale, this was a gift, but it's still something I came back with from Nashville. And this is a gift as well. I was given at Nashville, it says Arizona, and there's some really lovely funky colours, my sort of colours on there. And inside there is a little beaded cacti to remind me of Arizona. Love that. Really, really love that. We went to a quiz last night at the golf club and one of the questions was what was the plant shown on the Mexican flag? Well, we didn't know it, but it's a prickly pear cacti. So <laughs> maybe I should have known it. Right, some charts. So let's have a look at the charts I picked up. This is lovely from the blue flower. 
Huckleberry Farm. So that came home with me. And then, besides my designs, <laughs> I've got to say that, haven't I? My favourite sampler of the whole show was um, Jane Cowie. I thought this was a beautiful sampler. <clears throat> and when you see it in the flesh, the model, it's like, oh, it's just beautiful. And the moment I saw Tanya post this, I just fell in love with this sampler. Um, and then the other chart I picked up, again from the Scarlet House, is Charlotte Frost. That's very pretty. Um, and then I did a video um, for Kathleen in Cross Stitch Antiques and her work was beautiful. And I can't believe that she has found time to have such a large body of work when she's got 14 children. I'll tell you what, I take my hat off to you Kathleen. Had to pick up this. And if you'd like to know more about this, I did feature this in my video. Love that. And then there was another one, which was Innocence. I thought that was beautiful. And again, I featured this sampler in my video that I did of Kathleen's room. I would have loved to have done more videos, but I can only do them when we aren't officially open. And um, it's difficult grabbing people because everybody's so busy, um, you know, working on their rooms, getting them prepared before market opens. And I just haven't got a chance when we are open ourselves. So that is all I brought back with me. Not a lot. Um, but I'm very pleased with my glasses. I'm very pleased with um, these pendants. These are beautiful. And they are really, really nice, worn, layered up. And so many people were wearing these um, at Nashville. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and start some work. Um, I'm in the middle of a beautiful sampler, reproducing it, and it's just been so nice coming home, not only to Bertie Boo and to Ray, but it's been really nice coming home to that sampler so I can pick up where I left off. So, for now, bye-zee-bye.